Hi there, welcome back to the channel. Now today we're going to be making a cheese pizza with our homemade uh, pepperoni. It's got vegetarian pepperoni that we made ourselves. Vegeroni. Vegeroni, yeah that's a good name for it. Uh, that is made ourselves what, with chickpeas and flour and baked beans possibly even, drained baked beans. To be honest, I can't even remember how I did it, so I'll let you know one day. I will. I've said that before, but I've not quite mastered it yet, so I want to get it perfect before I share the recipe. One recipe I will share in a sec is our hot sauce, which I made today. Mango, chilli and ginger hot sauce. It smells divine. I made that today. I'll tell you how to make it in a sec once I put the cheese on this pizza. Uh, right, so on goes the cheese. Bit of mozzarella on here as well. That was also inspired on a night out, that one. Yeah, or the hot sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? That was a hot sauce inspired by a night out. It's quite easy to make hot sauce actually, and it's quite nice to do it yourself, I would say. So, okay, give it a go. And I'll tell you how, once I put this vegeroni. Vegeroni. <laughs> vegeroni. Vegeroni on. No, my one's better. Oh, here's vegeroni? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I said. That's good. Right. So you said vegerani. Oh, I don't you know what I said anymore. <laughs> it's Friday, you've had enough. But look, it looks kind of cool. It cuts quite thin. Uh, I used a sort of pepperoni spice that I made up to sort of give it flavour. Uh, but yeah, it was pretty good. It's not quite the right colour yet, but I'll get there. Right, okay. So, what's this? That was my idea as well. Yeah, it was the flavours there. And it came out really well. So, in this, I've had to get my sheet. I've got to blow my own trumpet because Joe don't do it. I'm not going to say what I was going to say there. But anyway. If <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> you just stump yourself, you can't do that. This hot sauce. In this, I put two sort of medium heat chilies. Uh, I put one hot chili. Uh, I put four cups of water a thumb of fresh ginger, two tablespoons of maple syrup, half a fresh mango, three cloves of garlic, two sweet peppers, two teaspoons of salt and a third cup of apple cider vinegar. And what I do well with that is I put it all in the pan, let it sort of simmer for about 20 minutes and then it really gets all the flavours sort of blended together and it also softens the peppers and then just blend it up in the blender and pour it in a sort of sterilised sauce bottle and it, it's absolutely delicious. The freshest hot sauce you'll get really if you do it yourself. So it's quite hot, I'm not sure I really want to be pouring it straight <coughs> onto the, I think I've got a spoon somewhere. I think pouring up straight onto the pizza might be a bad idea actually because it is, it is quite it a is very spicy, spicy sauce. Yeah. Even though we put the medium ones in it, I put all the seeds in. You see, I never de seeded chilies, so they're all in there. So, okay, let's look a proper sauce here. We go. It's very nice. I don't like spicy, but that is a nice sauce. That We're is. getting there. A wee bit more. Why not? Just for this side. Bit for there, bit for there, bit for there. Yeah, I think that'll probably do it. Yeah, probably yeah. right. <laughs> probably going to burn our <laughs> mouth off. So yeah, that's And that. something else in the morning. Yeah. So I'm going to heat the peel up. And then uh, I'm going to put this in the oven. So just give it a little heat. The uh, oven temperature's at 461 degrees. Yeah, uh, so... It's a good temperature. It's very cold out here, so okay, the oven temperature seems to drop down quite fast. But we're doing quite well tonight, so I think we'll be okay. Let me just get my pizza around before I put it in the oven. None of this ob-shaped pizza it has to be round. We're round enough yet? Any other OCD people out there? <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, so into the oven we're going with this pizza and then we'll see what it comes out like. It's 
So there we go. There's a nice hot sauce, veggie pepperoni pizza, which has sort of been messed up because it moved about a bit. But hey, look at that. That was quite nice. Uh, it smells nice. It smells like it's going to burn my face off. But I guess we'll see in a minute when I taste it. So let's do that. Okay, let's give this a go, shall we? A dough? <laughs> give us a dough. A dough. <laughs> let's give it a dough. Oh, look, Not no a dough, much. a dough. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of hot sauce in this, but I bet there is. Okay, cheers. Mm, nice flavours. I was just waiting for the... I was waiting for the burn. I can feel it a wee bit. Oh, now I feel it. Oh! Wee bit more. Mm. Oh, that's nice. It's getting me now. That wee bit more definitely got me. It's got my tongue's gone. Ding. What's so good about that hot sauce recipe, right, is that uh, you can add more chilies. You can take them away. You can make it as hot as you want, really. Or as sweet as you want. Yeah, or as sweet as you want. You could add more sweet peppers and less chilies. Really, you can add whatever you want. It's just such a simple recipe, but it makes a really nice sauce, and this will last for weeks it's quite a big bottle isn't it and actually i had extra as well left over but that's what i managed to fit in the bottle so yeah oh, i'm still getting my tongue now <laughs> it's lovely and it goes really nice with this pizza here absolutely gorgeous i love it it's got a really nice sort of you don't really get the fruit too much but it has got a nice little bit of kick of sweetness as well as this kick of the heat as well that's a really I also get a bit of ginger in it as well, which I would do because I put ginger in it, but I can actually taste it is all I mean. But yeah, it's lovely. So give that a try. Like, subscribe, check out the book, and leave a comment. We'll see you next time. Bye!